Hi guys, so in this tutorial uh, DIY project I'm going to show you how to turn a simple travel mug from this into this. Nice wood effect mug with handle that you can have your brewing. Let's get going. I have cut the sorts of rounded board to size and I've glued them into place and we're using board PVA glue and I've also taped using masking tape all around it to keep them into place so now I'm just waiting for them to dry and as you can see you still got a lip there so that you can drink and then once it's dry Take the bottom and attach it back on. Now this is the original screw that came with it, which is too small, uh, so I'm going to have to find a longer screw so it can thread through there and screw into the bottom. And then I'll give it a good sand down and then I'll hit it with some teak traditional wood dye make a nice wood effect look, deep teak wood effect and that'll be done. So now I just will have to leave it to dry so for me I'm going to leave it for overnight but for you it'll be mere seconds. Glue dried up and everything solid. Now obviously I wasn't just going to use uh, wood PVA glue because I knew that one to keep them on. Uh, so I've used a mixture of things actually, so I let the wood PVA glue dry first, it, can't, it has kept them on there, but uh, for a permanent fix, uh, for the wood to permanently fix the metal, I've used UHT power all purpose adhesive, and I simply poured that down the gaps in the wood, between the wood and the metal cup. So just pull it down and let that set and once that had set and then for extra <laughs> extra make sure it's stuck for extra security is just good old fashioned super glue and again just pull it down the gaps and let that set so I'm happy now that that is fully solid so let's take the masking tape off and go from there masking tape off and I'm 
more than happy with it. As you can see, not all the joints are flush, but I don't mind. It adds to the character and it adds to the randomness of it. So I've added this strip of masking tape around the metal rim, and that is to protect it from the stain, the blood stain varnish that I'm going to put on and that'll be the next step. So as I mentioned in my last video the clear plastic C3 packaging comes in handy as little tubs or little pots. Pour a little bit of stain in there. Uh, brush and let's get to it my first time using wood stain so I don't know if it's going to need a second coat but again I'm going to leave this to dry and um, leave it for dry for a couple of hours um, it does say, I think it says fast drying so I'll leave it dry see how it looks and if it needs a second coat I'll put a second coat on if not then we're pretty much done so let's see how it turns out So that's the varnished all dried and I found a longer screw bolt for the bottom and screw the bottom on and then this is the original handle that came with the mug as seen there and I used a small drill bit to drill a hole through the plastic handle and in the process managed to drill my finger so again <laughs> be very careful because that did hurt and I, I managed to cut my fingers all during this DIY project but yep I drilled a hole through the plastic handle at the top and then I drilled a little port pilot hole into the wood and screwed the uh, small screw in and that's solid and that is it done and I think it looks fantastic especially when you've got the chrome lip at the top and the chrome bottom as well and it's a perfect now for a nice cup of coffee which I'm going to go and make myself in my new mug so yeah that was a quick easy uh, DIY project I've got a couple of similar ones I'm going to do one on a longer travel mug using a different, a different technique yeah hope you enjoyed this little DIY project Hi guys, so in the last video I showed you how to make this nice teak wood effect mug and this time I'm going to show you how to do a similar thing but with a longer, very similar mug and but this time I'm going to be using thinner strips and I'm going to sand the edges so they fit more flush with the actual rim of the mug itself. So let's get to it. So first of all you want to cut your strips of wood to length and the length of this mug is 13 centimeters but you've got to be able to cover the bit at the end so I've cut the strips at 13 and a half centimeters. 
There's not going to be a bottom on this one, it's just going to sit on the actual strips of wood. So once they're all on, I'm going to have to sand down the bottom to make sure that it's all level. Whereas with this one, it has the chrome metal bottom that it sits on. This one is just going to be all wood, all the way down to the end, to the flat end. So as I previously mentioned as well, I'm going to sand all the tops so that they slant, they slant, slant in and meet smoothly with the top rim. So that's the first step. Let's go. That's all of the uh, strips of wood in now and I've come to the final one and I've realised that it's not going to fit so what I'm going to do, it fits perfectly at the bottom but with the chisel I'm just going to thin it out on the edges like so, so that it slides into that gap. So I've decided there will be a metal bottom on this one and what I've done is taken the bottom off a sperm mug that I had that um, I used to make this one and what I'm going to do and what I've done is I'm going to have taken the bottom off there and I'm going to put it on the bottom of that one so I'm um, going to see if I can try and squeeze these in so they fit in there and if I can get that in I shouldn't have to do any gluing whatsoever because I'll, uh, I will be able to use the screw, I'll have to get a longer screw, and screw that into there and it should just hold it all together like so. Let's see if I can get them, get the strips of wood fitting into this metal bottom. So first I'm going to hammer these in so they're nice and straight. So I've decided to pack it out with paper and I've used all purpose glue just to make sure it all sticks in. I've taped it around to keep it together and now the bottom now fits on so all I have to do now is screw it into place and it'll be done. So that's this travel bug now complete and it's gone from a boring plastic travel mug a nice natural wood effect uh, travel mug perfect for a gift birthday present or a Christmas present Christmas is only in a few months and not only the fact that it looks nice but the fact that it's also been made by yourself or by myself I should say gives it that a little extra special touch now, as I mentioned I used the metal bottom of the wider travel mug and they fitted in perfectly a longer screw in the bottom so I could screw it in and that one is now complete 
on to the next one. So for this one I used the same style travel mug as I did for the first, um, first design with the teak wood stain but instead of using the rounded wood strips like from this one uh, that I got from B&Q I instead used lollipop sticks. I bought these from my local Poundland, uh, Poundland store, a big pack of about 100 uh, for a pound. Um, no I haven't been sucking on a load of ice lollies to get these but uh, this one is probably my favourite. It looks like a, a barrel and uh, so let's see how I did it. So I managed to squeeze the bottom back on and screwed it back in. Uh, it was quite hard to uh, push all of the, every individual lollipop stick into the bottom. And as you can see, it's the metal. I've had to bend it in places to try and fit them in. But overall, I love this effect. I think it looks really good. So that's my three simple upcycled DIY travel mugs and I think they turned out really well and quite easy to make only got a few cuts and scrapes <laughs> um, but yeah if you've got any questions on how I made these don't hesitate to ask in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe I'd just like to also show you this one it doesn't have to necessarily be just a wood effect uh, in the pack with the um, wood lollipops sticks they also had different colour ones so I had a sperm mug and I did this one as well so yeah this is a nice little colourful green and blue one so yeah these are the three simple DIY mugs as I said great for presents birthday present Christmas presents and if you make them yourselves it's got that extra special touch so yeah please like and subscribe and uh, don't hesitate to ask if you've got any questions and I shall see you for the next video. Cheers!